All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, what we are trying to, what I'm going to try to discuss, it's literally just me, but, all right, today I'm gonna to discuss why your car shakes or what makes your car shake around like 50 to 70. Now, right now, I'm trying to get it to get a little up to speed here. So we're at 60 miles an hour. I don't know if you really see that that well. 60 miles an hour. And right about now, I'm starting to get that variation in the wheel. I'm starting to get a little shakiness where it kind of seems like it's turning left to right really fast. As I let off the throttle, it kind of dissipates. But it really does it upon hard, kind of hard accelerate, acceleration. Like there it is right now. You start to feel a shake. Sometimes it's in the wheel. A lot of times you feel it in the floor. Now, another thing that causes 50 to 70 mile kind of shake, but then it kind of goes away, is your balance on your tires. Now, another thing is make sure you um, understand that you got to look at the balance on your tires when it comes to shaking in the steering wheel. And then upon acceleration is also like, it's also axles because the balance in your steering wheels as you come up to speed, you'll feel the variation, it'll start to shake, and then it'll go away. Well, that's the tire coming out of balance at a certain speed, and then be coming back in balance, which will stop that shaking of the wheel. Now, shaking when you hit the gas and the throttle is the axles, the two front axles, the inner joints become uh, kind of loose and so they'll start to vibrate and shake as you start to give it throttle and all and gas and all. Shaking upon acceleration are the front axles, their inner joints tend to become a little loose. Um, over time, everything breaks down. They're rotating fast or applying the uh, torque to the wheels. So everything breaks down. Everything breaks down over time, like your body, anything. So as those inner joints start to become loose, they start to shake. They have their natural vibration in the body. Sometimes you'll feel it in the wheel, but upon hard acceleration or acceleration in general, you'll feel that shakiness. That majority of the time is axles. Another thing you gotta look at is control lines. You just gotta look over the suspension before you verify that it's the axle. You'll feel the, um, the looseness inside the actual shaft or the inner joint will be a little shaky on the transmission or the transfer case. Um, shakiness in the wheel at 50 to 70 is tire balance mainly or a bent rim. Uh, but obviously they'll find out if it's a bent rim if you balance the tire actually correctly and all that. So I added in axles as like another thing because it'll kind of affect the steering wheel, kind of won't. Majority of the time it'll affect the uh, body and you'll feel it in like your feet or the foot on the or your feet on the floor. Like where your uh, feet are in general on the pedals and all that. But, that's the video. Um, short, quick, easy. Nothing but easy uh, kind of stuff for you to go through and look through. But, um, yeah, shakiness in the steering wheel going 50 to 70. And a uh, little extra shakiness in the um, steering wheel or body upon hard acceleration or acceleration in general. But, that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe watching.